What's up, guys? Hope everyone's having a super highly successful day. Welcome to the Growing A You Show. Last Friday in the market, Dow Jones, oh my gosh, up a thousand points at one point. I believe we closed in the high 800s, but incredible day for the market. What a rally and really kind of the first piece of good news we've had since the crash due to the outbreak. Really, the reason that it happened really quickly is because of the unemployment rate expected at about 19%, came in at about 13%, and people loved it. Investors ate it up, and the market, as a byproduct, continued to rise, and really, it was just a great day for investors. A couple of the stocks really led that market, and we're going to be talking about some of the stocks today that really soared above the rest, and I really do mean soared. We're going to be looking at the three best airline stocks to possibly be looking at in 2020. We're going to be talking about President Trump. We're going to be talking about Warren Buffett. We're going to be talking about the stocks themselves, everything that happened, all of that coming up. So as we said, what a day on Friday for the Dow Jones, for the entire market itself, really an impressive, I believe it was actually the best 50-day period since 1933. I saw some stats on that online, um, but really just a great day for investors. And some of the stocks really began to lead the market, some of the airlines being part of that. We're actually going to be talking about an article from MarketWatch.com talking about some of those best stocks. And those three stocks, airline stocks we're going to be looking at today are Boeing, American Airlines, and United Airlines, talking about whether or not you as an investor or trader need to be investing in them. But first off, let's talk about the little bit of heat that's going down between President Trump and Warren Buffett. So what's happening with him? Well, you may have heard a little while back that he sold off all of his airline stocks. And really, as we've seen now, they started to come back rather strong. And President Trump actually made some comments about Warren Buffett's decisions. And we're going to be taking a look at that quote right here. So he says, President Trump, Warren Buffett sold airline stocks a little while ago. He's been right his whole life, but sometimes even somebody like Warren Buffett, I have a lot of respect for him, they make mistakes. They should have kept the airline stocks because the airline stocks went through the roof today. What? I mean, yeah, we very true. The airline stocks did lead off, and President Trump decided to take a little jab at the Oracle of Omaha there. Buffett responds and saying that the coronavirus pandemic has changed the industry in a very major way. He said that it's no fault of the carriers. However, this is leaving the future of flying much less clear. I think Warren Buffett, despite, you know, okay, yeah, we saw some great surges in the airline stocks. I think Warren Buffett makes a very uh, great point. I'm still with Warren Buffett here. I do have stock in one of these companies. I will reveal that to you. However, I do think he is right. The coronavirus pandemic has drastically changed the way that we are going to be seeing and the way that we're going to be flying and traveling in the future. And that's not just over because the stocks surged. The stocks surged because of the market rallying as a whole due to unemployment. Um, but let's be honest, though, the coronavirus is not over. People might be tiptoeing back to airplanes, but it's not some dramatic all of a sudden resurgence of flying as it was in the past. And when we're going to see that again, if ever, it could be a far way off. So I think Buffett, his trepidation, his hesitation, his uh, reservation, that's a lot of Asians, is actually quite warranted. Despite that, there's a couple stocks that did really well in the airline industry, and we want to be going over those a little bit today. So we're going to be taking a look at Boeing, American Airlines, and United Airlines. I do own stock in Boeing. I bought them when they dropped down to about $118 a share from their $300 high point. I did pick up a couple shares of Boeing, so I do want to make that very clear. Full disclosure at the beginning. So let's talk a little bit about Boeing. So first of all, Boeing heading for the best week in more than two months of trading, heading towards almost a $35 billion weekly gain. $35 billion. I'll definitely take a little bit of that if they don't mind. But currently trading at $206.08 per share. That's up 42.15% over the last week. And right now, uh, experts are saying uh, through MarketWatch on Robinhood that they are at a 54% hold rating. So obviously you can buy, sell, or hold. Experts are saying that uh, right now, Boeing is a great stock to hold. Again, all these stocks are going to have some great buy points, some great sell points, some bear points, some bull points. All of those things are very important. If you want us to dive deeper into any of these, comment down below. Not saying here that any of these are necessarily great investments, because I do think we have to be aware of the future, but these are just some things that really start to soar, and I want to make you aware of it. So going over to American Airlines, uh, currently trading at $19.09 a share. That's up 77.25%. 
um, last week alone. They stay at a 42% sell rating, but a lot of those ratings are before this uh, increase, as well as Boeing's and United Airlines. But despite that, they still at a 42% sell rating as far as experts are concerned. Um, but they are up quite a bit, 77% in one week, not too bad. And then finally, United Airlines trading at $44.03 a share, up 56.8%. Over the last week at a 53% buy rating from experts. So really some impressive gains from those airline companies there. If you are interested, I would be start looking at those companies. If you want us to go over deeper any of those companies and far as which ones I think you need to be investing in, comment down below which one and we will do that. But those are the ones that are leading the market, really helping uh, just the entire market begin to soar on Friday. Again, great day for investors. Now, do I think you need to be investing in airlines? Well, when it comes to long-term investing, as I always say, I think it's important to look at the long-term intrinsic value of the company. Despite what's happening right now, do you think they're going to be able to rebound after this with new strategies, new plans that allows them to continue to be profitable in a post-corona world? I think that's the stuff we have to look at. So having said that, do I think you need to invest in them? Well, I think Boeing, we've seen that to be a very valuable company. I think we've seen Boeing really manage themselves quite well for the most part. And I think that they propose a potentially very valuable investment. I still think they are very far off of what their value is. $300 down to 118 right now sitting at $200, just a little bit over that. I think there's still a lot of money to possibly to be made there by investors. But again, there's still a lot, a lot more nuance uh, to be talked about to realize that there's still a long journey ahead of us here when it comes to the return of avid air travel. I think there's still a lot of potential to be made in the airline companies. I don't plan on selling any of my stock. I may increase my positioning, but I think you have to decide as an investor, you know, how long are you looking to hold the asset for? As a trader, you might be able to make a little bit of money if you were invested before Friday. You maybe rode those gains to a nice point. I think as a trader, which again, I don't claim to be super great at that. Not my area of specialty, if you will, but I think there's possibly some really uh, impressive great gains to be made there in short-term trading of the stock. And so we can really kind of see that over the next couple of days by how they perform. Um, as far as investments as concerned, as I always say, just look at the intrinsic value. Do you think Boeing, United Airlines, American Airlines, Delta, all the other airlines, do you think that they're going to be able to respond and adapt to a post-corona world where we're going to be more focused on health, safety, and things of that concern? So tell me what you think down below. Boeing, United Airlines, American Airlines, are you going to invest in any of them? Do you hold position? Do you think the airlines, should we be investing in them? Are you with President Trump? Are you with Warren Buffett? What do you think? I'm really interested to see what happens here. I'm interested to see how the world now hopefully begins to recover over the next couple of months, getting out of now into a more post-corona economy. But again, we have to be prepared. Will it resurge next year? All of these things are things we have to be considering when we look at what investments and assets we want to be placing our money into. Because despite what anyone might say, all of those things are going to be play a major role in the value of those stocks. So let me know what you think down below. How did you make money on Friday? Were you in the market and be able to reap some of those gains? I'm interested. With that, we'll catch you next time.